Welcome to Tibay Team Case 3. Hi, I'm Francis Ordita, Technical Specialist of Hardiplex Tibay Team Case 3. Part of my job is to visit project site to conduct a pre-workshop with the contractors on how to install the Hardiplex boards in a proper method of installation. I'm Michael Rabadon of Petronilo Construction Services. We do finishing and fit out works for uh, homeowners and uh, buildings, commercial establishments. Dati po yung space before renovation, uh, napakaliit lang po. So gusto kasi ng mayari na yung malalaking area kasi lumalaki na rin yung pamilya nila. So, yung laundry area nila at saka yung kitchen, magkatabi lang. So, yung mayari, nagluluto sa labas ng bahay. So hindi po yung safe for cooking, lalo na po pag umuulan. Siyempre, nababasa sila. Yung space, masyadong open eh. So wala silang area for storage. May party pa ng bahay na gumagamit sila ng plywood, particular na po yung sa banyo. Meron kami nakikita ang party ng bahay na infested na ng anay. Main concern right now with this project is the infestation of anay for the wood surfaces, like the jams and the eave ceilings. In everything we do, we provide values and zero harm to our customers and partners. So, i-discuss muna natin yung safety on how to work on your daily activity. We have to wear complete PPE. We have to observe proper safety procedure. So, naka-hard hat tayo. Naka-vest tayo. During howling, dapat yung mga worker naka-gloves sila para at least hindi sila masugatan yung mga kamay nila. Uh, Binakbak natin yung existing na wall para lumalaki yung espasyo. So, dati po yung laundry area nila at saka yung kitchen magkatabi lang. So ang ginawa natin ngayon, to separate the kitchen and laundry, uh, gumagawa tayo ng partition using the Hardy Pro. Okay, magdalagay tayo ng additional access door para yung, let's say, na malengke, yung may-ari, hindi naman kailangan na ipapasok. So doon na sa kitchen na ipapasok diretso. Tapos nandun na rin yung laundry area para maging accessible sa may-ari. Yung Hardy Flex Pro kasi natin, siya yung recommended natin for weight areas. Kasi nakasandin na siya at saka silyado siya. So, matibay siya talagang sa pamamasa at saka moist. Paano ba gagamitin ng Hardy Flex Pro? So, pag uh, wet areas tayo, dapat we have to apply at least sa uh, 400 mm yung spacing ng mga metals natin at the same time. Uh, yung base metal thickness ng mga frame natin is dapat minimum of 0.55 mm. Yung Hardy Flex Pro boards natin, eh, may dalawang side yun. Meron siyang rough at saka smooth. So, pag nag-install tayo ng Hardy Flex Pro natin, dapat pabor siya sa smooth, then no worries to install the tile adhesive since didikit naman yung tile adhesive natin sa smooth part ng hardy flex pro natin. After the tile adhesive, we have to install tiles. Since this is a laundry area, so may constant agos ng tubig. Kailangan natin ng sukal doon at least 4 inches para hindi mag-overflow yung tubig. So we have to make sure na linisin natin yung area, especially yung area na prone sa dust para mag-adhere ang mga jointing compound at water topping properly. Sa mga joints, para hindi mag-penetrate ang water sa board, dapat lagyan natin ng polyurethane sealant para ma-cover yung gaps pagkatapos lagyan ng hardy putty at saka perforated tape to cover all joints. So dapat silyado yung jointing natin para yung tubig hindi maka-penetrate sa loob ng system natin. We contacted CW Home Depot for the tiles. CW Home Depot has 8 branches in Luzon, which has everything that you need to build or renovate your home. CW Home Depot ay isa sa mga authorized distributor natin ng Hardiplex boards and accessories. To know which one is the real Hardiplex in the store, look for the green stripes and branding on the board. We like about CW Home Depot because uh, kumpleto sila ng klase ng materials. They have complete accessories. You have different choices. Uh, may mga mag-assist sa'yo. You can consult them about their materials. Nagkakabit tayo ng uh, Hardy Flex Sinepa as accent doon sa dining area. And then mamaya magkakabit din tayo ng Hardy Planks for the exterior side for accent para mas maganda yung exterior side natin. Uh, sinadjust natin na gamitin yun kasi mas matibay siya, mas tumatagal. Uh, tapos lalagyan din natin ng skylight para yung dark areas ng bahay uh, maging maliwanag. So magiging savings siya sa part ng owner in the long run. Welcome to Reveal Day. Tara, pasok na tayo.
Dati po, wala po itong partition wall. Gumagawa tayo ng partition wall using hardplex board sa ilalim ng stairs natin. So sa simpleng paraan, nagkaroon sila ng storage space. Special reminder lang sa pag-mount ng TV. So dapat yung TV namin nakakabit sa frame. Dito tayo sa dining area. So we are using hardplex sinipa for wall accent. Magamit din po tayo ng hardplex sinipa for the baseboard. Pasok tayo sa bagong kitchen area na dati open area to na in-enclose natin. Then we are using hardplex board for the ceiling with skylight. Para during sa umaga, pwede tayong magtatrabaho sa kitchen without using any ilaw. Para may separation yung kitchen area natin at saka laundry, we install Hardiplex Pro. Uh, since uh, Hardiplex Pro is recommended for wet areas, uh, kasi ito ay self-coated. Naglagay tayo ng window sa laundry area para may natural ventilation sa space. Naglagay tayo ng bagong access door para diretsyo tayo sa kitchen at laundry area. At sa exterior, for additional design, we install hardy planks with overlapping execution. We install hardy flex eaves for ventilation and hardy flex sinipa for fascia. This floor tiles and kitchen tiles na nakikita nyo is from CW Home Depot. Kasama na po yung dining seat natin at saka yung system shelf. Ang maganda sa system shelving natin, madaling install customizable, at kung anong gustong forma ng shelves uh, Bali, ang pinakagusto kong nangyari sa bahay na ni-renovate na ito is yung kitchen area. Uh, this is the first time na naka-encounter ako na mix use yung kitchen area. You can have laundry, and then you can cook at the same time. So, properly designed yung area, kaya maganda rin ang pinalabasan. Bago po tayo mag-renovate, so we have to consider also floor plans, lalo na pag wet areas kasi uh, napaka-importante po yung mga drainage natin saka yung planning picture kung saan natin mailagay. Check din natin yung original plans ng bahay. Foundation, columns, beam, kung may tatamaan sa babaguhin natin, kung makakapangit ba ito dun sa gusto nating mangyayari. So dapat i-consider natin yung mga bagay na yun. During renovation, kailangan natin isipin kung ito ba yung pang long term or short term. So, ang kagandahan kasi pag gumagamit tayo ng hardy flex, flexible siya for changes. But durable for long use. If you have any queries, questions, uh, consultations, pwede nyo kami kontakin sa Facebook page Petronilo Construction Services. For more tips, like our Facebook page.